Matt the Homebrew Hero here. Today we are making a Weizenbach. A Weizenbach is German. Basically it's a Hefeweizen on steroids. We're going to be adding some, a little bit of darker malts as our specialty malts, but the base malt's going to be wheat. We're going to aim to keep our IBUs fairly low, about 22 IBUs. We're going to keep it well balanced with the malt and keep the hops on the down low on this one so those uh, banana flavors and clove flavors can come over nicely. As our base malt back here we got 11 pounds of that, 11 pounds of white wheat. You could throw in some pilsner, like half pilsner, half white wheat if you really wanted to. You also may want to use some rice holes depending on how your loudering goes. We're going to use two pounds of the Munich malt. That's going to give us our malty sweet flavor. It's going to add a, a reddish amber color to the beer. We're going to use four ounces of that chocolate malt. This will darken it up a little bit, make it kind of brownish, give it some roasted dark flavors. Four ounces of our special B. This is a used in a lot of Belgian beers like Abbey and Trappist Hills. Uh, it's going to give us an extreme caramel flavor and malt flavor. This one's a good one. And then four ounces of our Caramel 40. That, of course, is going to add to our head retention, give us a little bit of color, a little bit of caramel flavor. We're going to be using an ounce and a half of this German Hallertau. Or you say it? Going to throw that in at the beginning of the boil at 60 minutes, and that's going to be our only hop addition. And then we're, we have this Bavarian yeast from Y Yeast. Uh, Weidenstoffen. I'm not very good at pronouncing these names, but this one's is this is what's going to give us our banana and clove flavor, spicy flavor. It's going to be awesome. Now we're going to have to measure out our uh, our grains. So a quarter of a pound of all of this is what we're doing. And I keep all all of this since I probably won't use it for a while. I keep it in a Tupperware dish in the fridge just to keep it fresh. I'm not exactly sure like how long you keep these grains. I'd imagine up to a year. Now we're going to do the quarter of a pound of the special bee. Oh shit. You're using a smack pack. Don't forget to smack it. One quart of hot water for each pound of grain we got. In this case, we have 13 pound, 13 and three fourths. So that's how many of these we're gonna do. And we're gonna use this as our strike water. Heating up our strike water. We're gonna try to get it to 170, hoping to hit our target gravity of one or our target temperature of 154 after we add it to the grains. We're there. Here. Look at that color. Nice. So we'll fill up a couple of these, pour it back on top of our green bed, and then we'll start our sparge. Oh, 
margin. What the? Yeah. Okay, we drained, drained a little bit out. Now we're gonna put in a couple quarts or 170 degrees for the water. Gonna wait till the water goes below the grain bed. Then we'll do another sparge. Oh, the water's getting a little hot. This is gonna take about an hour and a half. Of course, gotta have your home brew while you're doing this. This is my lemon wit beer. It turned out absolutely fantastic. I used Two cups of real lemon juice, some lemon zest in the, I put that in the boil, the last five minutes of the boil, and I used a pound of honey that I added after fermentation. It's really crisp and just delicious. You throw a lemon slice in there and it's just amazing on a summer day. If you want to learn how to make that, just click on the link below and that'll take you there. More than halfway, we're almost to five gallons. We gotta collect six and a half gallons though at that line. Got six and a half gallons here, it looks like. Yeah, right on the line. So we're gonna bring this sucker to a boil. Probably take about 20, 25 minutes to heat up. We're boiling, gonna throw these hops in there. Got an ounce of the the leaves, and then half an ounce of the ta the uh, pellets that I had left over. So we're gonna boil this 60 minutes. We don't have any other hop additions, and then we're gonna cool it down. Okay, we got five minutes left, so I threw in my. Uh, Whirl flock tablet that's gonna clear up the beer. Got this all sanitized. We're gonna cool off this wart. Ow! Dang, that was hot. Shot up heavy. So don't do that. That's how you hurt yourself. Alright, we got this cooled off, so we're gonna pour this in there. It's splashy so you can aerate it. to 72 degrees keep it in there for uh, three weeks and then you'll be good to bottle <laughs>